Have you ever seen one of these? It opens up and you put an egg inside it. Then you spin the whole thing to scramble the egg inside the shell. I tried a manual version of this gadget a couple of years ago, which worked with this pull cord. But today I'm going to try this out. It's an electronic version. I'm going to be rating each of today's gadgets out of five stars, and I'll be putting them on my leaderboard. So let's take a look. This plastic cover unclips and removes from the top. The yellow lemon looking thing just lifts off. And here's the base with the motor inside. The capsule just twists open and inside is a flexible silicon liner. There's these ribs inside to grip and protect the egg and to accommodate different sizes. So unlike the pull cord version, this one's powered by an internal battery. It's housed in the base here and it's USB rechargeable. And there's four soccer pads on the base so it sticks to the worktop and doesn't move around when it's spinning. I'm removing this sticker, I've got no idea what that says. Then I charged it up with the USB cable. So let's try it out. I took an egg and inserted it into the capsule. It's a good snug fit, you can see the ribs supporting it. Then I sat the other half on top. It's a bit of a squeeze to close it and lock it together. Then I need to place the pods on the base, place the cover over the top, give it a twist to lock it, and it's ready to try. Wow, that's spinning quite fast. And, oh, check that out. It's stopped and I think it's spinning the other way. Yeah, I think it changes direction every few seconds. That's clever. So it should be scrambling the egg inside the shell just from spinning back and forward. I didn't really know how long to leave it going for. Then after about a minute, it automatically came to a stop. So let's remove the cover and open up the pod. I am being a bit careful getting the egg out of here. I don't want to break it now. But there we are. So let's crack it open and see if it's worked. And oh my word, look at that. Completely scrambled in the shell. That looks just crazy. But I want to see what happens when we cook it. So I took another egg, placed it in the holder, and fitted the top. Then put it back on the machine, and let it do its thing. This time, when it came to an end, after a minute or so, I removed it and placed it into a pan of simmering water. I'm going to leave this for a few minutes to hard boil, and we'll come back later to take a look. But next I want to try this out. It's a handheld electric herb and spice grinder. The advert also says it actually does nail powder and makeup too. So let's give it a go. It looks like some kind of weird torch. There's an on and off button here on the back. And if you unscrew it, here's the battery cage. If you unscrew this little plastic cup from the end, we've got these quite vicious looking grinding blades. It takes three AAA batteries. Then slide it down into the handle and replace the end. And let's see what happens when I turn it on. Oh wow, check that out. That's like a food blender and they're extremely sharp. I'm going to test it out with some fresh rosemary. I snapped off a few sprigs and de-stemmed them, so we've just got the softer parts. I filled the cup quite full, then screwed it back onto the device, and let's switch it on. Okay, so I'll turn it upside down. It doesn't seem to be doing a huge amount. Maybe I need to shake it. It all looks like it's just turning inside the cup. I opened it back up, and you can see the rosemary's just caught around the blades. Oh, that's disappointing. I spread it out onto the table, and it's just not cut anything up. Maybe it's only for dried herbs and spices, but I'll try it one more time with a lot less in. Let's see if this makes any difference. But nope, there's no difference at all. It didn't work for me. But let's see how effective it is for grinding spices. I took a cinnamon stick and snapped off a piece, and we'll see if it can grind this into a nice powder. So I screwed it back together and turned it on, gave it a bit of a shake around for a minute or so, and let's see what we've got. Well, that's definitely looking a bit more promising. Tip it out onto a plate, and wow, it smells amazing. Well, it's definitely ground some of it into a fine powder, but there are still a lot of large pieces too, and I don't really think I'd use it for cooking. So I'm going to give this gadget two stars. Now it's time to look at that egg we hard-boiled earlier. I let it cool down, then cracked it on the side and peeled it. And check that out, it's like a golden colour. It's definitely not white anymore. That's amazing. Let's cut through it and take a look inside. There are still some patches of white, but look at that. It's pretty much just yellow all the way through. That's so weird, cutting an egg up and not having a bright yellow yolk in the middle. Now, it has worked well, but I do find this gadget a little bit pointless. And it was quite expensive, so I'm going to give it four stars. But what do you think? Is this a five star gadget? Would you use it? But next I'm going to take a look at this. Electric wine set. It's an automatic wine opener which is supposed to pull the cork out for you. It comes with all these other bits and pieces, which we'll be looking at too. But here's the unit. Bit of an odd looking thing, isn't it? 
Ah, and there's a button here on the back. Oh, check it out. The battery's got some charge. Inside here is a wine pourer. This thing is a vacuum stopper. And this is a foil cutter. The device itself is rechargeable with a USB-C port. It's got some good comprehensive instructions and the first thing to do is charge it up. So I plugged it in and we'll come back to it when it's ready. Now I want to show you this. This is cool. It's a little battery powered hand mixer. Here's the unit. You can see it's quite compact and small. But I found it works really well. It's USB rechargeable and it comes with a couple of attachments. This regular sort of whisk and this mixer attachment. But the first thing we need to do is plug it in to charge. And a couple of hours later, it was ready to test. It's got three different speed settings, which is handy. And the first thing I tried it with was just beating together some eggs. Super simple. That worked perfectly well. No problem at all. So I tried whipping some cream with it. And after just a minute or so, we've got this lovely thick cream. It's just so convenient having a small battery mixer like this. But I wanted to try it out with something a bit thicker, so I tried making some pancake batter with it. It started off with too much flour, so it was really quite thick. But it wasn't a problem. Despite being so small, it seems to have quite a lot of power. That's a great little gadget, and I love how easy it is to store. You can just keep it in a drawer. I'm going to give it 5 stars. If you want to buy any of the gadgets from today's video, there's links in the description. And if you're enjoying this video, please do like and subscribe. Now we're ready to try the wine opener. First of all, I used the foil cutter to remove the top. That worked well. Now let's see how this works. If you press the bottom of the switch here, it rotates the corkscrew and starts winding it down. And if you press the top instead, it turns it the other way to wind the cork back off, I guess. So let's sit it down on the bottle and see what happens. Well, that's sounding good and... Oh, check that out! You can see the cork lifting up through the little window. And there we go, that's done. There it is. Ha, huh, pretty cool, huh? And if I press the other end of the switch, yeah, it's winding it back off. There's our cork. Oh, that was super easy. So it also comes with the wine pourer, which you just push down into the top of the bottle to pour the wine out like this. Oh, wow, doesn't that look fancy? And once you've finished, you can use the stopper, which you just push down inside, then use the pump to form a vacuum inside. That should make your wine last longer. What a great gift set, and definitely really useful if you struggle with a conventional corkscrew. So I'm going to give it 5 stars. Now, have you got any idea what this is? It's actually an electric knife sharpener. It's got different channels for different types of sharpening. It's mains powered, and it's got a retractable lead which just pulls out. There's a decent instruction manual showing how it works, and this little diagram showing you the different parts of a knife. There's suction pads on the base to keep the unit firmly on the work surface while you're using it. So let's test it out with this knife. And you can hear it whirring into life. We start off using the left hand side of the device, which uses the coarse grinding stone. And after we've done a couple of passes, in each groove, we move over to the other side. Inside here is the fine grinding stone. Repeat the process using each groove to work on both sides of the blade. And that's our knife blade done. It's now super sharp. It cuts through this tomato like butter. Check out those nice thin slices. But what's really cool is we can also use it to do scissors. There's another channel down here on the side. Obviously do both blades and after a couple of passes, my scissors are nice and sharp again. But what's more is it's got another feature too. This little hole here is actually for screwdrivers. This old screwdriver's got some damage on the tip, so I'm gonna try and repair it. I gently ground it. And there we go, a nice new tip on my screwdriver. It's definitely worked well for me, although it is quite noisy. And you do get sparks flying around, so I'm going to give this gadget 4 stars. Now this kitchen gadget makes you a delicious breakfast sandwich. And to see me trying it out and testing other kitchen gadgets, you can click on the link here. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.